Finally, Japan's nuclear byproduct disposal agreement with a private individual, Bryce Fairchild of Polycana. But who is this enigmatic philanthropist? For decades, Polycana has been known for its volunteer work on the islands. Under Bryce Fairchild's leadership, they've expanded their charitable outreach to all corners of society. The Sage, as he's called by followers, adheres to a personal creed of relief for the helpless. Perhaps his decision to accept Japan's nuclear waste is another form of providing such relief. Unbelievable. They're talking like he's a goddamn hero. Yeah, but Lonnie is still our focus here. We need Nelly Island's location. That's the thing. As far as anyone knows, Nelly Island doesn't exist. I even went to the library to look it up. Makes no difference if you can find where it is or not. From what I hear, unless they know you, they won't even let you near the coast. Whatever's going on there, the rest of the world is blind to it. Nelly Island is basically Bryce's little black box, it sounds like. Shit, man. Finding this place is hopeless, isn't it? Come on, don't talk that way. Nah, Tommy's honestly got a point. Looking for the island isn't getting us anywhere. Ichiban, not you too. I mean, maybe we should start looking for something else. Nelly Island's no good, but what about ships heading to Nelly Island? Ships? Hard to imagine an island remote enough to store radioactive waste as totally self-sufficient. Whatever they can't get there, they need shipped from the Hawaiian mainland, right? What if we snuck aboard something bound for Nelly Island? Cargo ships. You're right. They'd have to have them coming in and out. As a matter of fact, I do recall at some point Bryce mentioning receiving boats. Unfortunately, I don't know what kind or where they depart from. Well, I might have an idea. The only place I know decent-sized ships can dock is the Harbor Street Marina. Nice. Let's check it out. Hold on. Are you expecting to find something with a Polycana logo on its side? If you could tell which were theirs, some prying journalist would have hopped on one by now. They must be disguising themselves somehow. Ah, leave it to me. I got a buddy working there. We go back, too. If I ask him about any suspicious boats, he'll tell me. Whoa, way to come through. You might... Am I looking after a kane a little bit longer? Bryce could still send more people here. Hey, Ichiban. I've gotta ask, are you really sure about this guy? Handing akane san over to Palikana would solve a lot for him. It's all good, Tommy. He won't do that. Why so certain? Tomizawa-kun isn't wrong. If I gave up the old lady, I could keep my turf without any more hostilities. Sure, but that'll never happen. Because you'd be giving her to Bryce, wouldn't you? And a man like you doesn't work with people he hates, right? <laughs> You're smarter than you look. Kane san we'll be back before long. Just be careful. <clears throat> From the looks of it, she seems more comfortable with you. Think so? <laughs> Still too stiff to ever be mistaken for mother and son, but... Hey, you got time now. Just take it slow. Thanks, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Tell me something we can find that marina somewhere around, along Harbor Street. If we're ready, check it out. Oh. Oh man, it's been so long since I played as these guys. Okay, there's that quest, which I'm a level 41 linebacker. All right, it's been so long, guys. Where are your jobs at? All right, I'm a level 21. Okay, 25, 25, 25. 
Alright, now let me check our gear, because I remember taking things off us. I got the spiky band, so we're good. Ah. Uh, You're the one who took the layoff, so I'll give you the lay, because drops are important. Thank you, Kiryu. And then, she had the... Lucky money charm. Alright, I think we're... God, I got money! Alright, so let's see. Ah! There is a side quest. Alright, we'll do that. And then we have a thing at Revolve. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Uh, it's been a while since I played as them. Alright, he's ready for level 4. He's... Good. And... Oh, I have to do more story to unlock yours. Meanwhile, everyone else's is fine. Kind of. So I can finish Dachi's. All right, we'll do that. All right, we're gonna finish. We're gonna, not finish. We're gonna do that side quest down there. Oh my, we have another side quest over here. All right, we have a side quest there, side quest there. Then we're gonna do the link, and then oh, we have another. Oh man, do you side quest popped up? Okay. Okay, and let me think. Do I want to change my jobs? Let me see. No. Wait until rank 30 and then change. Okay. Alright, let's start with this job. This side quest up here. I haven't played. And then afterwards, I do all these. This will be this episode. Next episode, I'm going to do the Doki Island. So. You can probably skip it if you want, but I want to do it. Would help to actually mark it, eh? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Are you looking at me? Hmm. Oh wait. I see a tough battle, let's do it. Let's prove I'm good. Looks like I'm up. You're in it now. Here I come. I can do this. Alright. You know, I really like Chitose with short hair. She looks better that way. But I also really like this suit on, uh... Oh, Kazuga. It's really good. Alright, I think he's taken care of. Oh, there's another one. Let's go, let's go. May lower defense and fertility. All right, defense is lower. Cool. <laughs> Are you getting scared? Hmm? There we go. Oh. That's Wait, 
for it. Ready as I'll ever be. Get alive. Got you now. Got it. Nice. Hey, thanks, yo. I can do this. Woo. Prepare yourself. Let's get it done. Take your best shot. Open one! Wait, let me recruit him. What's this now? There you go. Take this. A peace offering. What's all this? Okay. Okay, so that one, that Sujimon gift is an instant. Sure, it doesn't matter what you do, you automatically get them. Okay. Ooh, Heavenly Prayer. Okay, so you're a good healer. Alright. We got another Sujimon to my arsenal. Ready when you are. Now let's do a side quest. Hmm. Something smells good. These flowers. They're beautiful. So tropical looking. I wonder what they're called. Wait, um, what'd that do for me? I don't know. Guy walk into a store. That's how you fast learner. All right. There's no point in moping about it. I'm sorry. I know, I know. It's just nothing's gonna change at this point, okay? Best thing to do is. See them off with a smile. Who could you ask me to do that? Huh? huh? We're leaving forever, and you want me to smile. I'm sorry, but just leave me alone, I... Aina. Wait. Sheesh.
What was that? Relationship problems? No idea. I could actually afford his best. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna buy that. And buy that. That's Thank it. you! I can use those for crafting. Oh, it's the flowers? Ugh! I can't find a single one! Where could they be? Huh? That's the girl whose boyfriend ran off. She dropped something over there. Yo, looking for something? Drop your wallet? Uh, oh no, no, it's it's not like that. Uh. Hmm. Huh? Um, I'm looking for a flower. It's called a plumeria. The more the plumeria. A plumeria, huh? That sounds kind of familiar. What's it look like? Oh, that's a plumeria? I'm looking for a blue one specifically. I might have seen some actually. Around Harbor Street. Uh, they were blooming around a tree. Uh, really? Oh, well, I think so. I mean, are you sure they were blue? Um, I know we just met, but is there any chance you would be willing to help me find it? I don't have much time. Sounds like you've got a lot going on. What's the story there? Why blue plumerias? <sighs> the truth is, I'm trying to craft a lay of plumerias. It's all I can do to help him smile again. Wow. Huh. So if you give your crush a lay of blue plumerias, your love will come to pass. Fun little urban legend. Yes. It's Hawaiian tradition. My grandmother told me about it. Even if it's a myth, it not it a romantic? And you want to give this lay to the boy you were with before, right? Ah, oh, you, uh, you saw that, huh? Sorry, I wasn't trying to eavesdrop. I just happened to be nearby. Ugh. Mm. So, this is embarrassing, but... It's to make Yuri happy. Yuri, the boy I was talking to, has someone he really admires. I want to help him, so I thought I'd make him a delay. Hmm? Hmm. So you're not making the life for yourself and Yuri. Huh? No. Don't give me the wrong idea. Yuri's just a friend to me. Oh. I see. Sorry for assuming. I've done him since we were little. He used to be so happy and funny, but lately he's been down the dumps. Why do you change? There's another woman he likes, Jessie. They met in dance class, and here she's really a really interesting person. I've never met her myself or anything. <laughs> I don't know how to dance. <sighs> Apparently, she's moving to Seattle for work. Yuri's inconsolable. He can't get over her. We've been fighting about it. Well, I guess you know that already. I get it. It's a tough situation. Her move is going to crush him. I don't know what else I can do to help. I thought maybe if he gave her this lay, she'd be charmed and keep in touch with him. Maybe Yure might even go back to his old happy self. It sounds so stupid when I say it out loud, but it's all I got to go on. Wow, this girl's willing to go through all this trouble for a friend. It really tugs at the heartstrings. Okay, enough said. Hmm? Leave it to me. Let's find those plumerias. You're sure on time, right? You mean it? Thank you. I need the help. And my name's Aina, by the way. I'm Kazuga. Ichiban Kazuga. Nice to meet you. Yes. Likewise. So, um, where did you see those blue ones again? Right. Harbor Street. I'm pretty sure. 
I can't guarantee they're the right color, though. Let's go anyway. Even if they're not what I need, it'd be easier to keep looking together. You got it. Let's go. Are you free to start now? If you're busy, I can just wait a little bit. What should I do? Have I got time to get help? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this. Basic attack. Damage your... Oh. Hmm. The plumerias were somewhere around here, I think. Oh! Ah, there it is. It's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> really? That's great. I'm so glad I could help. There should be more. Keep it off! Don't slack off now! Huh? huh? Whoa! What the? Huh? What the? Hey! Hey! What's going on here? Huh? Uh, why it's a sumo show? Why is there a sumo show? Why here? It's tradition. Every year after the big tournament in Japan, the Hawaiian sumo come back to put on expedition for us. Nothing's beat better than seeing them live and up close. Please stop. Hina. It's time out, guys. Hey, get out of the way, haircut. Sit down, you bum. Is he a sumo too? Some kind of skinny sumo? Oh, who's this? That would be it. Oh, who is this? That would interfere in our secret game of sumo. Uh, I'm not trying to interfere, but could you move the match somewhere else? You're getting real close to that tree. Absolutely not. Once our battlefield is decided, it will be an insult to have us change it. Indeed. If you wish to defend these flowers, spare us your feeble words and make a demand like a warrior. Don't you get it? I can't fight you here. The flowers. Kazuka-san, if you keep them at bay, I can pick the flowers. Please, do it. Do you think you can do it? <sighs> Alright then. I'll send you right. Let's do it! Well, I don't think they're low lives. Let's do this! That <laughs> Alright. Time to go all out! I'm up! Yeah, I'm a little over level for side quests. Main story though, I'm eh on. I think I'm about six levels now ahead. Your skills are undeniable to bring us both to the dirt. What stable are you part of? <sighs> no stable. I'm just not a wrestler. I'm not a wrestler. I only want to protect the flowers. Flowers, eh? Why are they such important to Okay. You? It's a favor to this girl, Anna. She's trying to cheer for her friend up. We came to gather these blue plumerias that grew on the tree. You all showed up as we found them. Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin everyone's fun, but I had to stop you. Mm, I understand. We'd sumo do. Uh, so, jeez. We sumo do battle to entertain the people, inspire them with our courage. Yet, perhaps we lost sight of those goals in our struggle for glory. Indeed, I only defeated us physically, sir. It's clear your love for these people is greater than ours today, a skill we must hone. May I ask your name? Kazuki. Kazuga, a mighty sovereign for the sumo ring. I hope to see. I hope to face you again. Come to the spring tournament. Farewell, my friend. <laughs> There's just a cow there. <sighs> it's my real name. And like hell, I'm entering a sumo sumo tournament. Sheesh. Dana, please set the flowers all right. Yes. Somehow, 
These should be usable for lay. That's a relief. Great job getting them picked with all that going on. <laughs> it was a little scary, but I'm desperate. We still need more, though. At least we're off to a good start. Now that we both know what they look like, it might be better to split up and search for more, eh? Yes. Hmm, I think so, too. I'll go find you, and I got my share. Totally. Okay, good luck. So, which way should I head? Well, I hate to say it, there's still more. Right, right, right. This is the tree that kind of triggered the quest. Oh. Hello. Hey, Ollie. Hello. Hey, Susan. Hey, fire breather man. Wait, is that say Eifert? And this is why I don't ride the scooter, by the way, because there's just so many people. Mr. P. Hey, Adachi san! What's with the keychain? Yeah, <laughs> you noticed, huh? Picked it up at the souvenir shop. That's pretty nice, actually. Fancy. Right? How much you think it cost? Ah, <sighs> let's see. Four dollars? Well, what the hell? You didn't let me guess. Have you never quizzed someone before? Here, watch me. How much do you think this bracelet was? Um, ten bucks? <sighs> Take a closer look. It's handmade. Hmm. It is elaborately crafted. Sure took some skill. Okay, I say ten bucks too. Why would you match my guess? You should guess higher. How are you so bad at this? <laughs> Whatever. What? What's the answer? How much was the bracelet? Well, I mean, it was ten bucks, but... So we were right! Oh, nobody came out of this conversation right. <laughs> this is it. That came out well. Oh, I love the little dialogue banters they all have. It's great. Just sadly right now, the story's not captivating me fully. But at least I'm enjoying the characters. We got bad cops over here. If Zig Cop or Purple means they're bad. I'm up. Oh no. Well, I'm waiting. Going in. Let's go. Alright. Hey, buddy. Be right with you. Oh, wait, do I have bad cop on my team? Oh, no. Uh, I'm gonna move on for now. I need to do a full Sujimon thing, but yeah. I mostly also want to get the story and all that, too. Look at that, more blue plumerias. Better grab these for Aina. Aina, Aina. I'm gonna say Aina. I, Aina. No, I'm gonna say Aina. Not bad at all. Help, I've been kidnapped. Katsuka Okay. Oh, Aina. I just found a few more. Need a bit more time to get the rest. Um, that's a problem. I just found out Jessie's leaving town sooner than we thought. Her fight's this evening. Huh? What? That soon? Oh, okay, don't panic. Let's meet back up and see what we got. Alright. Can you come to the art walls? I'll make the lay there. On my way. How's it going? Oh hey, no. No here? No here? Aloha. Hold up. Hey. Alright, the art walls, which is actually a very nice location. Um I'll do it here. Oh here. Oh, no, no, stop. Why am I trying to Ooh brain don't work. <sighs> oh, huh. That's weird. What is? Uh, the internet crapped out on my phone. So is this the end of the world? 
I don't know, it just won't connect all of a sudden. Damn thing was fine till now. Yeah, sometimes the signal gets spotty, depending on the place. Yeah, no internet? It's like I'm cut off from the rest of humanity. You're not cut off from anyone. You got us, pal. Just think of all the good times we've... Hey, it's back! Oh, whew. Thought I was a goner. Uh, you know, I think Ichiban was being real genuine just now. Yeah? No, oh, my bad. I wasn't listening. Repeat that, would you? Just forget it. Aw, you two are such good friends. Yeah, that's like people nowadays. The moment you... the moment the internet goes out, everyone freaks out because it's the end of the world. I think I've seen just about every work of art here that uh, Hawaii has to offer. I wish I could see even more art. You give me some fresh inspiration. Why don't you come check out Doki Island? It's a resort that's been getting a lot of attention these days. The resort, you say? Hmm. So various components of Doki Island end up forming a single mixed media art piece. I'd certainly love to see it for myself. I'm Poison Misto. I look forward to seeing this masterpiece you call the Doki Island. Oh, trust me, I plan on doing the Doko Island. Aloha. <laughs> I'm here. Oh! Kasuka san. Hey. So, what time is Jesse leaving? Wait, what happened to you? Did you fall off a cliff or something? Ah, well, I was running out of time, so I just kind of hurled myself through the forest. <laughs> But it's okay. I've got the flowers. Look at what you brought. It should be enough. <laughs> you sure don't like spirit. Alright, let me help you make this thing. Yes. Mm. Okay. So the string passes through like this, huh? Uh. It could be a little tricky to get hang of. Be careful and... Ouch! Hey, you alright? Sheesh, you stabbed yourself in the finger. Haven't you had enough pain for one day? This is nothing. She's kind of clumsy. Huh. I guess she is under pressure here. I know we talked about it before, but you must clearly care for your friend to do all this for him. Not many could. Well, I just know he won't make a move unless I help him. It's always been that way. I bet right now Yuri is trying to decide whether to see her off. I'm trying to convince himself it'll be worse if he goes. He's fragile. That's why he needs me. This lay is a kick pants for me to help. Oh. So, so sure seems like you know him well. Have you had to look after him like this since you were kids? Eh, more or less. We lived so close together that we were always together. We lived so close we were always together, my bad. There is a good guy, though. He's the type to make sure everyone's having fun. Nobody feels left <laughs> out. But that also makes him ten... That also makes him ten... Makes him tend to put himself second and do extra work for others. <laughs> He's funny that way. Wow. Mm. It's work quality to put someone else over yourself. He does sound like a good guy. Yeah. He really is. He should focus on what makes himself smile every now and then. Even today, with Jesse, he's... Um, Kaska son <sighs> You all boys have a, a thing for older women. Mm -hmm. Oh? Um, I just mean, you know, in general. Is that true of... Of men, just out of curiosity. Mm. Mm. Well, let me think about it. Uh... People like who they like. Age might con might contribute to that, but it's never the whole story. You really think so? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I mean, look. To be honest, I haven't got that much experience with romance myself. I'm no expert. If you like someone, it means there's something about them you admire. Something you admire? Well, maybe that's putting it too seriously. They could just be nice, or treat you some way no one, nobody else will. It's complicated, I guess. But still, they could be older, younger, or any age. 
that stuff will always vary from person to person. Eventually, you just feel it, and it feels right. I see. So, I guess that means Yuri feels it about her. I guess so. Oh! Ah, I've been babbling way too long. I need to hurry and get this to him. Are you sure? Do you really want to give him... Give... Do you really want him to give that to Jesse? Yes. Of course. I mean, it's fine. Like I said, Yuri's always doing everything for other people. I moved here when I was younger, and... I got bullied a lot. I used to cry. But Yuri stood up to the bullies for me. He insisted that we get along. I couldn't believe someone like him existed in real life. He was like some naive kid report repeating morals from a TV show. But I couldn't help but admire him for that. So to make up for all those times he helped others smile, I'm gonna help him smile this time. Yuri deserves to be happy more than anyone I've ever known. Now, I don't know if those these blue plumeras can do that, but maybe they'll help somehow. Even if it drives him to someone else, huh? He really must be special to you. Got it! Alright, I understand. Say no more, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Yay! It's all there. Oh, wow. It really is beautiful. Great work. I couldn't have done this without you. Kazuka-san, here. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, I already have that. Thank you so much! Thank you so much for your help. It's not much, but... <laughs> Don't worry. You're an interesting person, Aina. It was worth to get to know you. There is probably... Oh, there is probably an bench in... Sibuka Street... Sibuki Street Alley. That's where he likes to think. Will you come on? Got it! Sure. No problem. She call she called it exactly. Yuri Oh Aina Don't owe oh, Aina me. Jesse's going to leave. Why are you still still sitting here? Even if I went after Jesse, what would I say? I haven't got the words. If all I can do is stammer, make things weird, it's better not to go at all. I knew you'd say that. If you don't go tell Jesse how you feel, you'll regret it. Forever. So what? It's got, no, it's got nothing to do with you. Of course it does. I hate seeing you sad like this. See? That's why I made this for you. He's gonna misinterpret it. Huh? A plumera lay? I don't understand. Just take it, okay? Give it to Jessie and tell her how you feel. How I feel? Wait, Ina. This Jesse woman. Shall we leave? Mm. Is she here? This is the right bus station, isn't it? Yuri? Hi there, Jesse. Mm. Huh? Oh, Yuri! Oh, it's not a chick. <laughs> oh, that's gray. Oh. <laughs> it's not a woman. It's a man. I really not. Uh, okay. Mm. Oh, you're coming to see me off, kiddo. I appreciate it. <laughs> huh? What? Oh, um. Hold on. This is Jesse? Well, yeah. I guess you never met him before, huh? He's my dance school teacher. He's amazing. He's so knowledgeable about every kind of music. His lessons are so easy to understand. Deep. <laughs> you flatter me, Yuri. So this is a friend of yours. It's a pleasure. Um, likewise. Forgive me. I wish I had more time for a proper goodbye. My wife and kid are waiting for me at the airport. Can't be late. R right. 
Hey, Gary, here's my address in Seattle. If you ever find yourself up there, come by for another lesson. Uh, really? You mean it? <laughs> of course. You're an excellent student. Bring your friend here too, if you like. Thank you. I will. Somehow, I'll come visit. <laughs> I'm glad I caught you before you left. Thanks for pushing me, Aina. Yeah. Oh, hey, what about the lay? What should I do with it? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. never mind about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, awkward. D don't pay me any money. Go spend as much time you need with Jesse before. Oh. Go spend as much time with Jesse as you can before the bus comes. Um, okay, you're acting weird. Mr. Jesse, thank you for everything. Have a safe trip. And good luck with your performance. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kiddo. Don't give up, yeah? I wish I could stay. You're going to be a hell of a dancer. I know it. And you and your friend, take care of each other. I'll be seeing you. Oh, that's a hilarious, uh... Yeah. Thought I was a chick, but it was actually a married man dance instructor teacher. <laughs> With a child. What? You thought I was in love with Jesse? Uh, what's wrong with his voice? <laughs> I mean, you never said. How was I? We originally heard his voice. Have we? What is wrong with this guy's voice? I supposed to know he was some married guy. Jesse sounds like the name of a sophisticated older woman. <laughs> I guess I'll ever really. Is my game bugged? I think I have a bug, because that voice is way too high-pitched for a dude. He said was that they were older and cool. Uh, that's not right. And how sad it was. Yeah, that's not right. That is a bug, my dear sir. Well, the quest is over, but that is weird. Shame, I was hoping to go through this entire game with no bugs. But I had one, but I can live with that one. Alright, let's go south. I thought they talked before. The, the guy. Oh no, ignore you. Ignoring you. I thought the guy talked before, but I guess not. A weird voice bug to have. You think they would have fixed it by now? Hey! Kazuga, my man! Back on the beach! Totally! Hey, Raymond. Good to see you. Working yeah. hard? Always, look at the people we got walking in the dunes today. If I rest even for a moment, their tiny, their beachy dreams can become sandy visions of terror. Sounds like you're gonna use some help on lifeguard duty. Can I pitch in? Might I help you out some more? Check on the kids, or maybe heat stroke detail? Both are important, true, but today, you'll take on the very heart of the patrol. Trash cleanup. Hmm. Trash, well, I guess someone's gotta do it. Help! Thief! Huh? Huh? Please, someone, that man stole my wallet. A thief, here, damn. Don't worry, I'll catch him. Yeah, come on, Raymond, you and I. Don't even try it. Oh, why am I? All right, let's do this. Stop chasing me, asshole. <laughs> Stop chasing me, asshole. <laughs> Slowly Stop catching up. Oh, never mind. He just stopped. He ran out of breath. Now give me the wall. What the hell, man? Who runs so fast on sand? 
I'm part time I'm a part-time lifeguard. These sands are my domain. Crap. Here you are. Better make sure everything's still in there. Thank you so much. I will. Thank you so much. It's all here. You're a real lifesaver. He just came rushing at me while I was laying on my, out on my blanket. Sounds like he was waiting for the perfect moment. Try to keep any uh, valuables close for now on. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Thanks for everything. Keep up the great work, lifeguard. You got it. Man, I can't believe people are really snatching grab here of all places. It's all too common, sadly. Places where lots of tourists get hit the hardest. Makes me sick. <laughs> but hey, you saved the day, big guy. You got damsel. You got the damsel or you got the damsel or things back. Now I bet that thief's on his way to death row right now. I've gotta say, Kazuga, with your quick thinking and passion, this beach would sure be in good hands if you went full time. <laughs> That's nice of you. I've just got too much else going on right now, so, sorry. I'll definitely think about it if things ever settle down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be looking forward to that day's arrival. Hey, bud, you must have worked up thirst during that chase, huh? I've got an ice cold one with your name on it, and the name spelled H E R O. Hang up, hang tight for a sec. Okay. Oh, thanks. Sounds good. Raymond's been gone for a while, hasn't he? Wonder if I should check on him. If he's going to get a drink, maybe he went to the juice cart? guy around. Mr. Lifeguard, you're a long way from your dumbass high chair. My vacation's just about over, you know? I don't want to leave Hawaii with any regrets. Get me? So I called up some friends of mine to party on my last day. All of us together. Miscreants, you mean? All I wanted was one good day thieving on the beach, Lifeguard. Well, no can do. The beach is dangerous enough without your kind. Shut the hell up! It's just a damn sand trap! Quit it with all your preaching! I dumped a lot of cash on this getaway! The hotel, the stores, they all robbed me blind! Why shouldn't I rob this place right back? You're pathetic. Hey, it's that guy who was getting in Raymond's face a while back. A woman gets her purse snatched and now this guy show up again? All in now, the same day? Now, knock Sheesh. you out, toss you behind the juice shop, and go rob the whole beach free and clear. 
You forgot one thing. Huh? Kasuga! It's you. I can't walk on by if someone's hassling a lifeguard like Raymond. Believe me, lifeguards don't have it easy. Whether they're saving lives or just cleaning up trash. I don't give a shit. You're just some volunteer. Piss off! No way. Weren't you listening? I said lifeguards clean up trash. And from the looks of it, I've got work to do. Hold on. Is this guy saying we're the trash? Damn right that's what I'm saying. And if you can't follow the rules, you're worse than trash. Not even good for the incinerator. I'm not trash! <laughs> Just cross the line. Okay, guys, Raymond can wait. I say we kill this asshole right now! Yeah! yeah! I hate to say it, a comeback for him saying just crash is not uh, uh, the one you right. oh, the one you said wasn't good. I'm not trash. It's like uh, okay, you aren't helping your case. Cool. Watch over there. I'm not trash. I can do this. Is it go time? Don't worry. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go. This guy's crazy. I hope you learned something about causing trouble today. You go, lifeguard! Hey, if you don't respect the beach, leave! Damn it. That was awesome! Those guys have been such a nuisance lately. The beach is where we should all be able to have fun. Thank you so much. Ah, there's no need to thank me so much. Besides, if anyone deserves your gratitude, it's Aloha Beach's resident lifeguard. He's here every day. He never stops patrolling, making sure everyone has a safe time and ends their trip with amazing memories. <laughs> we all know that. Nobody here forgets what he does for us. It's all thanks to him that we're able to kick back and enjoy ourselves. You're our hero, Mr. Lifeguard. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Catch you later. I'm not sure what to say, Kasuga. You saved me from a mauling that might have ended me. Don't worry about it. With a lifeguard like you here to oversee it, anyone who disrespects this beach has it covered. Well, take this at least. My own little way of saying thanks. You've been an incredible help here. To the beach and to me. Infrared goggles. Ooh. That's kind of you. I'll take good care of it. You know, I learned a lot as a part-time lifeguard, thanks to you. Even in the most beautiful locations, people still need help. It's not easy even keeping one person safe, much less a whole paradise. Kasuga. I can't tell you how much those words mean to me. Lifeguards aren't always seen as heroic. We're always understaffed, and the job's less than glamorous. But every time I see a smiling face out here, I want to do all I can to preserve that smile. Just like someone else did for me. That's right. You mentioned another lifeguard once saved you, too. Ah, uh, you remembered that, huh? It's funny, actually, that just the other day... Mr. Raymond! Huh? I finished my patrol, sir. Safe and secure. Great work. I'm proud of you, kid. Go cool off at the station before your next shift, yeah? Oh, and those drinks in the fridge are all yours. All right. Thanks so much, Ray. You're a lifesaver. I don't remember seeing him before. Did he just start working here? Yep. Just the other day, actually. Took to it like a fish to water. Matter of fact, he's a kid I pulled out of the water a few years ago. He was drowning. Really? Turns out that left a sort of impact on him, so he signed up. 
Just happened to be assigned here. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that story before. Maybe, kinda. I don't do this for a reward, but every so often, life gives you one anyway. To think that on some random day, years ago, I saved a kid, and that made him decide to protect this beach too. In that new lifeguard's eyes, Raymond, you're a hero. I won't ever let him down, I swear. I won't let any of them down. I'll be the hero this beach deserves. No, not a hero. Something more. A guardian of life. Yeah, you stick to that. I think things will be just fine. Who knows how many more future lifeguards you'll save. I can't stay here forever, unfortunately. As long as I'm around, though, I'll support you. That's an amazing beach, you know? It needs people to watch over it. Damn right it does. Now, what say we venture forth into the uncertain horizon once again? Right. Ah, 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 <laughs> I think I twisted my darn ankle. Ah, someone needs assistance. Excuse me for just a flash. Sure, when duty calls. Lifeguards, man. Guardians of life. We owe it to them to be courteous, clean, and safe. I'll keep doing my part to make the beach great. And I know you'll be out there somewhere, doing yours, Raymond. I like the lifeguard quests. Those are nice. Alright, that's another side quest down. There's one actually down here on the beach. So let's go. That's what you sound like, man. No one likes you. Oh. Uh, I'm looking at what's in front of me, and I swear to God, if there's a chimpanzee driving that again. Oh. Oh, Kazaga. Nice run in here. Hey, sir. Still enjoy Hawaii? Mm. Hard to complain, except it starting to feel like we've seen it at all. I wonder if there are any Alloway spots to enjoy. Been to that baby food buffet they got so, uh, they got so many times. I must have paid for a whole new gross of high chairs. Baby food? What? Does that really exist? Well, you're welcome to come by Dodoko Island. I've been running that the place lately. There's definitely some kinds of fun there you won't find anywhere else. Gotcha. Oh, got your own resort now, Kazuga. Well, I'll be spanked. I'll be glad to come by. <laughs> you better stock up on milk, because we'll be toasting the night away. <laughs> he's an E? Mm, that actually shocked me. I think he'd be higher, since he's a patriarch. Well, I guess the family isn't that popular. I don't want to see a bull. All right, that should do it. Yeah, good work. Boss should be pleased. I don't want to see those right there. I'm afraid of a chimpanzee taking control of one. Why the excavators? You guys doing construction? Nah, these are just for display. They're rarities. Old models that were used during the settlement. <sighs> Best days may be behind them, but for our company, they're sort of like old legends. Well, after we found them in such good condition, our boss made it his cause to show them off to the public. And so, here they stand. <laughs> I hate to say it. Um, they're gonna rust extremely fast if you leave them there, because you're next to an ocean. Sort of a monument, I guess. Honestly, it was real spur of the moment. Getting the display permit, hauling them out here. This is our busy season, you know. Sometimes the boss just gets a hair up. Excuse my language. I'm used to it, but some of the guys are kind of pissed. Wow, sounds like a tough gig. Diggers like these probably were instrumental to this beach, though. They may be old, but you can't deny it. They got character. Wear and tear makes them look distinguished, I say. Guess they don't run anymore, huh? Mmm. Both have had their battery removed. Oh, thank God. Their hauling days are over. <laughs> Actually, between you and me, they're still fueled up. Of course, nobody carries the batteries they use anymore. Right there's the old socket, in fact. Huh, look at that. They're both missing their covers? Afraid so. 
You'll never find one of them with every piece accounted for. We figured it was fine to set up the best we had. Funny to think that if they just had some juice, they'd run again. Oh well, no way that'll happen. <laughs> Wait, did I hear right? If they just got some electricity into the open socket, they'd be usable? Could be. The levers are rusted over, though, so there'd be no way to control them. It'd be one nasty event if that engine turned on. I'm gonna be fighting these, aren't I? But the boss said not to worry about that stuff and just get the display up. Hey, uh, we should head off. Need to prep for the boss's visit, actually. Oh, right. Nice talking to you, pal. Something about that just feels dangerous, but it should be fine. Mm. <laughs> We all know what's gonna happen. No. Let me at him. What are you staring at? Get out of my town! I saw him. I saw hey. him. I saw him. I can do this. Ow. Yeah, take your best shot. Break yourself. I'm up. He's about to blow up. Looks like I'm up. You're in it. Oh, oh, ah! oh, God, out. Time to go all out. That one, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Look at me go. Who knew I had it in me? Oh, I've already got you, but I'll recruit you anyways. <laughs> what the hell? Go. Will this persuade you? I don't sure? want to talk to him. Yeah. I know what's going to happen if I do. <laughs> nope, I don't think I got him. I like your style. Oh, there Come me in. I gotta talk to him, don't I? Why is the ringleader here next to excavators? I knew it. I knew I should be afraid. Oh, whoops. How'd I do that? Oh, right, there we go. Hello. Yo. Huh? Oh, I haven't beaten you yet, but you're bronze. No, I need to level up my Sujimon first. Mm. Oh. Ma'am, I want to get there and give you a drink, but I can't reach you. I gotta go this way, and I don't want to. Wow, a miracle aquarium! That sounds fun! Can we go see it, Mom? Goodness, it says they have marine life from all around the world. Papa might like to see that too, don't you think? Kazuka, don't stop. Keep walking. Miracle Aquarium? I hope to see you there. Huh? A one-of-a-kind traveling aquarium. Only open for a limited time. All ages are welcome. Huh. Is there some kind of show in town? Wait. <laughs> it's you! Yeah. Yasuda-san from oh. the circus! Sadly. Huh? Oh, Kazuka-san, what a surprise! I met Yadda-san back when he was going around Japan with his grand animal circus. Not every part of the shirt went... Oh, there we go. Yeah, do this. Not every part of the show went according to plan, but things turned out all right. Definitely drew a crowd anyway. Fool me over. Kazuka-san, what, what a crazy coincidence. You're on vacation, are you? No, something like that. 
so you're running an aquarium here now? What happened to the animal show? Well, remember how you helped me out in Japan? I took some time to reflect on my business after that. <laughs> you taught me a valuable lesson about delegation. Let others do the work and simply reap the dividends. Now my staff handles the circus. Really, Kasuga-san, I'm grateful. You opened my eyes. <laughs> All right, good for you. Glad to hear the circus lives up. Oh, yes. In fact, it was during the last tour that I met an American with some show business contacts. Is this the side quest that might show him? There's Hawaii. a rest. He's a ripe spot for an aquarium. Uh, we'll see. Tourists and exotics see things for days. Then he offered me a stake in it. I suppose there was no concealing my passion for animals. <laughs> oh, wow. What'd you do? I finished my drink, ordered quite a few more, then paid him every last yen I had to invest. Uh, no, definitely not. Now, then. once this show starts to really take off, I'll tour the entire country with it. <laughs> Wait, do you have any fish? Well, try to take it one step at a time. Yeah. Don't let things get out of hand. That's good advice. However, Kafka's on, sometimes it's better to just stomp on the gas and go crazy, don't you think? No. Giving you a little gas is okay, but not if you cut your own brain. Anyhow, line. I've got to go get everything set up. An aquarium needs its fish. Goodbye for now, Kasuga san. Come see the show when we're open. Yeah, sure. I don't wanna. I know what happens during your show. And he's still headstrong. Oh, well, it's not like fish ever mauled anybody, right? <laughs> Traveling aquarium, huh? Maybe I'll check it out if I have the time. How much you want to bloody bet he has a shark? Then again, I remember in the promotional material, there was a shark. God damn it, he's gonna make me fight a shark. Alright, where's his thing located? Alright, it's probably located here. At the moment, let's check it out. Alright, we know what time it is. Move! Give me a second, actually. The Ringmaster returns. Nope, not that. Huh. Alright, so he's setting it up here somewhere. So I just got to I'm gonna fast travel real quick. Alright, for a second there we saw about an American who is uh, in our entertainment. I thought he was talking about, because I know that uh, an AEW wrestler is in this game, Kenny Omega, who is the man. I still haven't seen him. Can't wait to see him, though, because Kenny Omega rules. Alright, let's see what he has. Oh, let me shake the tree. I'm a tree nudger. Um, hi. Hey. Oh wait, no electric eels. They're electric eels. The buckets are electrified. Yo, Yasada san. Oh, Kazuga. Hello there. What's with the buckets? You clean the tanks. Oh, ho, ho. these fellows aren't cleaning supplies. No, no, no. They're my secret weapons. Hmm? There you're... He's gonna stick them in the machines for batteries? There you're what? Come now. An aquarium in the world can show off some boring old fish. I hold myself to a higher standard of excitement. Something fresh. Something with flair. You have to draw people in with an exhibit... Uh, exhibit... 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 Blah, 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 blah. Exhibit exhibition you, they can't possibly ignore. Flashiness has always been the cornerstone cornerstone of my work, Kazuya. <laughs> A shocking, shimmering, electrifying parade. Electrifying, huh? And nothing embodies my philosophy better than these two. Behold, Lan Chan and Lun Chan, my very own electric catfish. Oh, catfish. Uh, you should put more water in there. Shocking. 
Exactly. In fact, there's a special breed. They discharge the largest like, electric shocks of any animal on Earth. It was hell getting permits. But now they're here. The show can go on. These babies, fireworks, will get on. These babies... These babies' fireworks. These babies' fireworks will give audiences an experience of learning. Wow. Wow. This does sound pretty exciting, doesn't it? And I've got it's I've got a special task for them. Nothing gets their discharge of charge and better than dark, cramped Goodbye. spaces. Ah, oh, speaking of which, I better get them settled. Excuse me for now. Come to the opening. Oh no, oh, no, no. Alright, careful not to run too fast. No. No, he's gonna stick them in the machines and they're gonna work as batteries! Mm. Uh, electrifying show, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Funny to think that if they just had some juice, they'd run again. Oh well, no way that'll happen. <laughs> Wait, did I hear right? If they just got some electricity into the open socket, they'd be usable? Could be. The levers are rusted over, though, so there'd be no way to control them. It'd be one nasty event if that engine turned on. Oh, he is going there. Oh, crap. I know it's a million one chance, but God warn you, Mas, about those excavators. Where'd he go? Did he catch up with them? It's too late. It's too late. We know it's too late. Hey. Two, three, four. Hey, wait a minute! The electricity! Excavators! Hmm? Excavate what? Whoa! What's a sea cucumber doing here? No. <laughs> of course. Oh no! Those damn electric catfish flew right into the open battery sockets! Lamb John? Don't you dare discharge! Hey! Damn it! You're supposed to be professionals! Kasuga-san! You've got to help! Please! Stop those machines somehow, and don't let Lamb John or Loon John get hurt! Oh, come on! Why is it always like this? Every time! Fine! 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 What's one more boss fight? I love how even Kasuga's like, why does this keep happening? Time to go all out. I got a feeling this isn't the only time this is. Oh, they're on. Oh, no. Oh. oh, the poor, poor old excavators. Their boss isn't gonna be happy. I think that did it. Yasuda-san, how are the catfish? 
They're all right. A little punch drunk, but no worse for wear. That's... that's good. Glad they're okay. Hey, come look over here! <laughs> come on! It's absolutely sick! Crap, we're in full view of everyone else on this beach this time. What do I do? Is this the electrifying show from the flowers? That was astonishing! Huh? I wondered why they were putting those old excavators up. I had no idea it was for such a wild stunt. <laughs> hey! I want to see it again! Zap, zap, pow! It was so cool! <laughs> they all think it was part of the show? Ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed our free exhibition ceremony. I thank you all for attending. The Miracle Aquarium itself will open to audiences in good time. Please make sure to return. Oh, let's go, let's go! It'll be a great story to tell back home. If it's as hyped as that preview, I'll see it twice. We'll be there. Here, boss, right this way. We set the excavators up nice and prominently, just like you asked. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna love this. Hmm. Oh, a lot of people out here, isn't there? Only one reason that could be. <laughs> Guess our hard work really paid off. This will be a fitting monument to our prestigious company. <laughs> now, these old models are legends, after all. <laughs> it's only natural people would want to, uh, see. Uh, them. Oh, no, oh, it can't be. No, what? What this can't be? The excavators, they're burning. <laughs> you went above and beyond this time, Kasuga san. I owe you everything. This is hardly enough to repay you, but I hope you accept it. Even in Hawaii, Kasuga-san, you've managed to save my life and livelihood. I just might have. Please, be more careful from now on. You're right. Truthfully, I may be in just a bit over my head here in this foreign nation. The thing is, it's so important to me that the show stays affordable, even to folks from less affluent families. I thought that if I skipped on safety regulations and things like that, I could keep costs down, and even the poorest child could see something spectacular. That's... kind of you? We passed on all safety regulations and hazards, and on top of that, we don't have anyone advising anything. But it's gonna keep costs down so little Jimmy can watch the show. Listen, even back in Yokohama, I admire the passion you had for entertaining people. All else aside, that's admirable. <laughs> that means a lot to me. I believe that you can't excite an audience unless you're excited yourself as ringleader. I want to run shows that are truly unique. Beasts of the land, fish of the sea, whatever attraction I have is going to be one of a kind. That's never going to change. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Do your best out there. Just don't forget that safety's important, too. Yes, sir. Now, let's go get you fitted for a top hat, Casca side. Okay, what? You're in, too, aren't you? To run new animal shows with me? <laughs> Wait, hold on. When did I agree to that? You saw how your electrified excavator brawl drew in the public? Kasuga-san, you're a born showman! Let's have you beat up every fish in the ocean! We're sitting on a gold mine here! Don't you get it? We'll be the greatest traveling act in history! Come on! The entertainment world waits for no one! This is how stars are made! Jeez, slow down a second! Show's over, man. I'm out. No! Oh, don't go yet! Kasuga-san! Electric catfish. Not gonna lie, I didn't know those existed. Oh, 
not. Zoom in. There we go. We're gonna do a Dachi's Link, and then I think that'll be it. And then next time I'll start with Dodoko Island, and I'm just gonna have a relaxing few hours and do that. I might even listen to those radio shows that I keep not listening to. Time to put our feet up. Alright, Dachi. Let's do this. You gonna drink a link? Yes. Oh, he's not looking happy. Hey, Adachi san. What's wrong? I've never seen you this down before. Oh, you could tell. Good eye. Don't be like that, man. What happened? Well, you see, I found Akiko san's shop earlier and decided to swing by. Wait, hold up. You're talking about that jewelry shop, right? I mean, she actually opened up her own place here? Why are you so down about that? Uh, come on, have a seat. Figure I ought to give you the rundown. I, uh, got in touch with someone I knew from back when I was a detective. I had to twist an arm to get him to look into stuff. And that's how I learned that Akiko-san managed to open a shop near Knight Street. I headed over to check out the area myself. And that's when I heard about a jewelry shop owned by a Japanese woman. Damn, you seriously pulled out all the stops, Adachi-san. Even the barkeeper here couldn't track it down. Well, you know, some things you gotta do yourself. It was stupid of me to ask him to look for a shop that might not exist. <laughs> Free of charge at that. Yeah, you had no right to complain about that. Anyway, back up for a sec. Did you get to see Akiko-san? Yeah, I did. I, technically speaking. It seems like the shop's pretty popular with tourists who are in the know. There were a few customers browsing, but only one woman working the floor. So, was it her? Uh, I could never forget her face. Even after 20 years. The moment I saw her, I knew without a doubt it was Akiko-san. Hmm. Seems like your reunion didn't go so smoothly, though. Else, you wouldn't be so down in the dumps, yeah? Well, it doesn't matter how it went down. There's no way I left a great impression on her. That aside, the moment I set foot in her shop, I got a gut feeling that one of the customers was up to no good. Say what? So I figured I better keep an eye on him before talking to Akiko-san. What makes you say he was up to no good? Well, even though he was facing the jewels, his eyes were always glancing up. Like he was checking out where the security cameras were. But Akiko-san didn't notice him at all. She had her hands full with another customer who kept asking to try on stuff. I don't know, Adachi-san. Maybe it's just your imagination. Is it really that suspicious to look at security cameras? Well, of course, that's not all. Another thing, he kept making eye contact with some other customers. Eye contact how? Well, take a wild guess. It was with the customer Akiko-san was assisting. They were probably pretending not to know each other. One person distracts the employee, and the others take their time scoping out how tight security is. At least half of the customers in the shop at the time must have been in on it. What's their game then? Were they trying to make off with some necklaces or something? Nah, uh, not exactly. Uh, my gut says they were getting ready for a big heist. The next time they swing by, they'll have a way to shut down the shop security system and an escape route all planned out. What, seriously? I only left the shop after they did, stuck around the off chance they'd lift something then and there. At least nothing went down. Yet. Right. But if they were already scoping out the place, they might strike soon. Well, if you think something's up, I believe you. Yeah, I figured you'd say that, but I got no proof. No one else would believe me. Why's that? There's no way the Hawaiian police is gonna get involved just because some tourist told them to watch out for a gang of robbers. Why would they waste resources mobilizing their officers, especially when they don't even know if a robbery really will happen? Kind of like the beginning of his link when the girl said the robbery's gonna happen. No one believed her because she didn't have proof and she was just a kid. <sighs> yeah, you got a point there. Yeah, of course I do. Now, if you were in my shoes, what would your next move be? Oh, 
Wouldn't it be best if we caught the robbers ourselves? I mean, you know what they look like, right? Okay, catch them and do what? Say we hand them over to the police, but what for? And they haven't robbed anything yet. Besides, if we get a little rough trying to capture them, we could get sued. All right, so what would you do? After the whole gang left Akiko-san's shop, I managed to speak with her. At first, she didn't recognize me, until I told her that I used to be a Kanagawa police officer. She went pale after that. Then she looked at me with fear, anger, and pure loathing. Whoa. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not much of a surprise. In her eyes, I'm just another incompetent cop. Akiko-san tried to warn us about the incident, but we still didn't do a damn thing about it. We practically let her folks get robbed. Think about it like this. After 20 years, a former police officer pops up out of nowhere to warn you about an impending robbery. But also consider the fact that this is someone she has history with. I mean, how do you think she reacted? Uh, how did she react? She was terrified. And on the verge of tears. Thought it was some kind of sick joke. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I mean, from her point of view, I must have seemed a lot more suspicious than some prospective burglar. No way, man. Maybe you've got it all wrong. Nah. I couldn't get a word in with her after that. She chased me out of her shop, pretty much kicked my ass to the curb. Even told me to beat it or else she'd call the cops on me. Well, I think I get it now. So that's what's got you down. <sighs> I just... I just feel like such a dumbass. I, I should have stepped into her shoes then. Thought harder about how to approach her. Calm down, Adachi-san. What's done is done. But Akiko-san's shop is still in danger, right? You gotta tell her that, man. No, I... I can't. She won't trust me. The moment she gets a glimpse of me, she'll go screaming for help. There is no way she'll hear me out. Hey, how about this? Let's wait till she cools her head, and then we hit up her shop. You and me, buddy. You're tagging along? But why? Well, I'll talk to her first. Try to clear the air. Once she's calmed down, you can explain everything to her. Hmm. Anyway, the problem at hand is that Akiko-san hasn't realized her shop's gonna get looted. No way we're standing by and letting it happen, right? No, we're not. Not a chance in hell. Good. Yeah, it doesn't matter what she thinks of me. What's important right now is her safety. Yeah, that's the spirit. Now you're starting to sound like the Adachi-san I know. <laughs> I bet I made a sorry sight. Lost my grip just because my feelings got a little hurt. Hey, man, it happens. I'm sure deep, deep down in your heart, you were actually hoping for a teary reunion. <laughs> all right, all right. You had your fun. Knock it off. Okay, okay. Come on, let's have ourselves another drink. Cool our heads a little. Seriously, man, I don't have any ulterior motives or anything, so give it a rest. <laughs> Relax, dude. All right. Oh, I still have one more link with him. I thought that was the end. Well, that is my bad. Because I thought that was the end of his link, but no, I think the next one is when her shop gets robbed. Uh, I think we're all good. Other than this side quest. Alright, there's only one place I need to go now. I've been pushing off for a while. So, I'm warning you now, the next episode or two is going to be me doing this place. So, yeah. And I'm going to enjoy it. Riding a dolphin would be fun, but I don't swim very well, and I'd probably drown. Palm trees. Oh, yeah. And we're here! I'm back. Thanks, pal! I'm ready. I am ready. I am back to Doki Island.
Well, next time I'll begin my Dodoki. But, Dodoko, sorry. But for now, I think I'm gonna call it. So, I'll see you next time. I'll be picking this up and have a nice, relaxing Dodoko Island. Until then, I'll see ya. And goodbye.